Hello everybody, this is a quick rundown on how to use green screened people and alpha video footage in the MO2 beta which is numbered 1.0.5 um, it was I think his name was Jordan Little Dog and asked about a tutorial for this so I thought I'd really quickly rattle off how I've been doing it bear in mind this is part of the beta um, there are ways to get that if you uh, have certain contacts with motion VFX but this is something that I believe should be patched into the, into MO2 properly very soon so anything I do here may not work as it finally works or differently or the results may differ this disclaimer disclaimer but this is what we're doing for now so if I just take us full frame and we can see there we go I've got a stage model that I loaded in from the uh, preset packs available and that is in there in our scene then if I just hide that I've got two bits of footage a long shot of this chap here and an MS of this chap here the reason I've used two is this character was just filmed on a phone um, so the footage is quite soft uh, this was filmed on a proper DSLR uh, but obviously we're not going to plant his feet on the ground so obviously there it's just keyed over the top if I move the camera in motion nothing happens they just sit there what I'm gonna do is add a model a primitive a plane into the scene you can see it there I'm going to rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees so that it's facing us now we're gonna apply a texture to this using video and drop zones so if I go now to so I've highlighted the plane I click new material in the albedo category texture source drop zone and I'm gonna I'm gonna use the uh, long shot character first now there is an obvious issue here I don't know exactly why this happens but I'll show you how to fix it if I zoom in there the footage is always flipped 90 degrees and it resizes that 16 by 9 footage to match the shape which is one to one of this plane so I will highlight the plane I'm going to change the scale on the x-axis to 1.6 and on the y-axis to 0.9 so that is 16 by 9 obviously the footage is still flipped so I go click the planes textures I go to rotation minus 90 and there's our little man in the correct aspect ratio our alpha channel there is not being used properly we go down to the opacity on the planes texture we go to alpha cutout and we click use albedo alpha we don't click it twice because that'll happen we click it once there he is he's keying now I go back to the plane and I scale it universally to the size I want um, I tend to find that footage comes out a little bit soft and a little bit dark now some of the softness is made worse in this footage because it's just recorded on a phone um, but the, the footage does tend to come out quite dark I'll just go down to the albedo and up the brightness until I think it looks about right and now if I go to the camera you will see that he is now in the scene so just be aware that when you've got a bit of footage like that in a 3d scene he's like a paper cutout so don't forget if you start to orbit around the footage it will oops if you start to orbit around the footage you will start to really really see see he's already doing it there you'll start to really see that actually you're looking around the sides of him so you have to be careful how much you move the camera you can get away with some things more than others um, rotation tends to be the worst offender if I'm doing a 3D scene as I would do in motion with a person in it, I add a little bit of rotation on the y-axis so that they just gently rotate to face the camera. With it, if you don't move the camera too violently, you can get away with a lot. But that is the basics 
on how to do that. If I just swap that bit of footage out, so I go back to the plane, to its albedo, and I'll put my other bit of footage in. Oops. If I put my other bit of footage in, drop zone, of course. There you go. He looks a lot crisper, but I still feel like when you go in, you lose a bit of... Oh, it's not too bad, actually, that time. But I I think it's the blooming and the various way, ways it renders, perhaps, doesn't help. But it's still probably some great results you can get from that. I'm certainly planning to use this in an upcoming video. Um, and, of course, because this is the beta, I don't know to, to what extent they've... Um, improve this it might stay exactly as it is now or this might be heading towards a situation where you just drop the footage straight in and it automatically is the right way up and the right ratio and all these i uh, expect great things from um simon and the guys at motion vfx they're doing a great job and th they literally patched this functionality in because people like myself sort of went oh that would be nice and they just went and did it which is fantastic so thanks uh you guys and yeah stay tuned i'll try posting more bits of videos now i've got some bits of kit and i've got my fancy mic now hopefully the audio is much better uh, than it was previously i'll see you guys soon bye